Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is in response to a viewer who wrote Seeking My Help. He wants to be able to have chart titles that will dynamically update as he filters the data or selects different data. Now in this case my viewer happens to be working with a data set. He's created a pivot table that includes a report filter and a pivot chart. What he wants is he wants the chart title to update automatically as he filters the data. So in this case with the pivot table in the report filter, if he wants to filter and only look at fiscal year 2007, he wants this title to update automatically. And again, this technique applies to all charts. It's not limited to pivot table charts. So what we want to do is we want to click in a cell that's apart from the pivot table. And we're going to write a formula. I'm going to put in here equals, and I'll use double quotation marks for the text, sales for the FY for fiscal year. I'll use a space, double quotation mark to end my text selection. Now we use the ampersand to join together text strings. So in this case I'm going to join together in the formula the text string that I just wrote inside double quotation marks and then point to the cell that contains the label that my client wants inside the chart. Click OK. Alright, now we have the formula. Now the next step is to come down here into the chart and to actually select the chart title. Not the text, we don't want to do that. We want to select the chart title. So we want to make sure that this is a solid line outside. Now all we have to do is go up into the formula bar and say equals and then refer to that formula that we just wrote. So now when I click there is that formula and watch how it will update so I can update by changing the filter to another fiscal year 2008 and you see it automatically updates now cosmetically what we can do so that this doesn't appear is we can just come over here to the home tab of the ribbon and we want to change the color of the font so over here in the font color I'm going to make it match the background color so the formula is still there but we don't see it now let me create this from scratch. What I'm going to do with the pivot table, and here's a really good tip for you, when you want to save the size of the file or control the size of your file so that it doesn't bloat, I'm going to actually make a copy of the pivot table. So I'm going to come up here to pivot table tools options and I'm going to say select. I want to select the entire pivot table. I want to then copy it and then I'm going to come over here to another worksheet and I'm going to paste it. So I'll right mouse click and say paste. So here I've pasted that pivot table that I had in the first report. This time I'm going to make some changes to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out. I want to filter by customer rather than by fiscal year. So let's bring the pivot table field list back into play and over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the fiscal year over into the columns and I'm going to move the customer over into the report filter. So now I have a filter on the customers over here and I'm going to create a pivot chart. I no longer need the list so let's get rid of this and now let's insert a pivot chart. So again pivot table tools options pivot chart. I'll again use a column chart click OK and I'll just move this over here just so we can see it. I don't need this filter. I'll change the size a bit and make it a little bit taller as well. One of the first things that I do with any chart is I like to have my legends down at the bottom and it just is a cosmetic element for me but it also is psychological. We read from left to right and why have that legend interfere with what we're looking at. Also in this case I want to select and then delete the horizontal grid lines. Now notice that there is no chart title. So I'll come up here to Pivot Table Tools Layout and I'm working in Excel 2007 and I want to insert a chart title and I want to have it actually in the chart. So once again what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want when I filter to have this value. Whatever value appears in the filter is where I'm going to reference. I'm going to select the cell outside of the pivot table and I'll say equals inside double quotation marks I'll say sales by space double quotation mark ampersand to join together text strings 
and then I'll click on the cell that I want to have linked in there. Now that I've created the formula, what I have to do, again, remember, is come back to the chart title and select the chart title and not the text inside the uh, chart title. Notice that when I select the text, you see how I have dashed lines. I want to select the chart title and then come up into the formula bar equals and then just click on the cell that has that formula that we just wrote click OK and let's test it out let's filter for a different customer and now let's see how that chart title dynamically changes and once again if we want to hide this of course I could hide the column but I think a better way to do that is to just change the uh, font color so again we'll make it match the background color and there you go let's do it for one more customer Danny's Diners click OK and there you go. So now you've learned a great trick for dynamically changing the title for any chart. It works especially well when you're working with a pivot table, pivot chart, and you're filtering the data for the, your chart. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.